I've hit that age where I need the glasses now. Sorry. So, uh, Bruce Ehlers, Olivenhine. As most of you know, I was Maggie's campaign manager for all three of her campaigns for city council. I was involved in every facet of Maggie's campaigns. I attended her campaign coffees, forums, and talked to Maggie most, almost every night uh, about many of the issues going on in Encinitas for the past 12 years. Perhaps uh, with the exception of Ian, her husband, I'm in a position, in a unique position, to provide an authoritative opinion on whether some of the candidates being considered are aligned with Maggie's constituents or not. Who amongst them represents Maggie's constituents? If you vote to maintain the diversity of opinion on the council, then I urge you to pla re replace Maggie's vote with someone who represents the council's minority view. Two candidates clearly represent this position. Tony Kranz, who received the next most votes in the last election, and Lisa Shaver, who Maggie directly endorsed for the appointment. I urge you to, point, to appoint one of these two. Conversely, if you plan to appoint someone who represent, more represents your positions, then please explain your reasons, and do not suggest it is under the guise that somehow they represent Maggie's constituents. Have the fortitude to say why you support them. Perhaps it's because they were your constituents, or that they were strong supporters for your campaigns. Two candidates are clearly strong supporters of the council majority and have campaigned on your behalf or run as co-candidates in previous elections, Mark Buer and Alice Jacobson. Let's just talk about where they stand on some of the historical issues. Let's take Prop A as an example. It was one of the largest issues went to a vote of the people. The Yaki proposal it was the Yaki proposal to, re, to uh, rezone the ag land to houses. Mark and Alice supported it. It lost in a landslide with 66% of the voters support, er, opposing it and Maggie opposing it too. I dare say closer to 100% of Maggie supporters opposed it. Prop H, the proposition to move the library to its current, or move the library from its current location at the top of the hill. Mark supported it. Maggie and the majority of voters opposed it. I could go on, but the record, you know the record as well as I do. Now, Mark's a, a former may, uh, neighbor of mine, but I, I think it's important to comment on his political activity. Mark has worked on past Jim Bond and Jerome Stocks campaigns. Some would characterize his role as campaign manager, much like I serve for Maggie. Mark and I have discussed campaigning at many parties and get-togethers, and we've seen each other on the campaign trail. I'd like to share with you a particular incident that occurred uh, late one night in, on the 2004 campaign. I was personally running for office that year, and my signs, as you remember, or you may remember, were disappearing at an alarming rate. One Saturday night at about 1.30 in the morning, I'm a late night person, I, I took off and took a drive around to see what, uh, if any of my signs were disappearing. And in one of my paths, from one pass to another, up and down El Camino Real, I, not I didn't see anything going on with my signs, but I noticed stocks and bond signs were going up. And then as I drove down there, I noticed an SUV with two individuals at the entrance to Encinitas Ranch. And guess who? It was Mark and Jerome. Out at 1.30 in the morning, installing stocks and bond signs. They, uh, they must have noticed me as I pulled off and over into the uh, Home Depot parking lot because uh, when they got back in the car, they drove over and we talked. I mean, Jerome, Mark, you must certainly return, remember our discussion in the empty Home Depot parking lot in the wee hours in the morning. There are other stories I could cite, but my point is, Mark's been actively involved in Jim Bond's drum stocks and other council campaigns. However, I do, if Mark chooses to retire and run for city council, I support his right to do that. But in an open election, not by appointment, the conflict arises when those council members who, who he served in election and who, in whose jurisdiction he is currently employed, appoint him to a peer role in the council. If you appoint him, please do not claim it was because he represents Maggie's supporters. Be open in your reasoning and say it is because he supports your viewpoint. Thank you. Thank you, Drew. We have one more speaker slip just submitted, Bob Aranon. Bob? <laughs> 